morning. I'm on a Black Country Canal and you can tell from the wall behind me if you watch my videos regularly that I've been here before. I did intend to go fishing today, the last day of September. As it happened, I woke up naturally really early, so I decided to come down at first light. I've got some flexibility in the early part of the day, at least uh, today. If you saw my football um, video the other day, just casting out by the way, and I'm watching the floats, a lot of surface foam, so that's making it quite difficult to present a float. If you saw my video the other day, you'll know that I wear these things during the day, my club clothes. Oh, the maggots come off there. I don't know how that's happened, but it has. You'll know that I wear these in the day, and then I go to bed in them at night. Hence, I've got my bed clothes on underneath, a pair of shorts and a top. More importantly though, let's see if the fish have woken up. It might not be a big fish, but your first one means that you're on the right path. I mentioned the foam on the surface. It's like someone's been having a bubble bath. I decided to take one of the smaller shot off the line so that the float sits just a little bit higher than it was previously. It was very low actually on the water. Now it's just, just enough to raise itself above the foam. And as I am watching there now, I, it, it's cleared a little bit. It's a little bit better because obviously it swirls around and it moves along. So most of the foam now is to my left, but the float is still in a position that I would say was well presented. And I just had a little dip there. Sorry? Sorry? No, 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 I'm after perch. How about you? Yeah, hopefully. Have a good day. Yeah. Well, somebody just come past, an angler. Ask me if I'm after the carp. No, I'm, as you've heard, I'm after perch today. Although, I've just had one roach so far. There are roach in the swim. You can tell from the movement on the float. And as is often the case, and certainly in this particular spot, I've had roach initially. They've been pushed out by the perch moving in but as of yet in the last few sessions that I've done here I haven't had a big perch that's why I've come back I feel that I'm, I'm owed one as it were after some initial roach activity my favorite fish the perch another small perch it's always a good idea this time of the year especially to take a look into the mouth of the fish that you catch because as you look into their throat you'll see how well they're feeding and that's always an indicator of how much bait you need to put out of course the float action or the rod tip action as well gives you that indication because while you can always put more in you can't take it out once it's in there at this time of the year as the water temperature drops, the fish will become less active. If you arrive and put all your bait out in one go, you may be struggling. You may have it difficult anyway because of the conditions. But if you put a small amount of bait into the water, within a reasonable amount of time, you'll be able to gauge just how active the fish really are. And then you can increase your feeding if required. Always stay one step ahead of the fish that you're trying to catch. I've been catching lots of small perch and a few roach along the way and I've just landed this bullhead. Great aren't they? Especially from the canal 
don't catch too many from here. I do love the mini species though. I'm into a much better fish now. I think this one will definitely need the net. It's a perch, it's on the surface. Not a monster, but certainly bigger than the ones I've been catching so far. I'll be back in a moment. I'm back and I will be back again with the fish in question. Nice enough perch. I always like to hold the dorsal fins up. That's what a perch is all about, isn't it? Let's just get that leaf off the fish there so it looks, looks good. It's like your school photo and your mum combs your hair so you look nice when the photographer comes. This will be my last fish as well because I'm ready to go home now. Again this afternoon, well I'll be on my way at quarter to three and I'll be back about 1am tomorrow morning. No rest for the wicked, as they say, not that I'm complaining.